Hello again everyone. Down in the shop today and I'm going to be checking some picture tubes. And here's my test chassis that I use. A little VT71 Motorola. I have made me an extension cable here to plug into the, the CRT socket. All this is is a this is a base off of an old CRT and I have wires hooked up to it going into the socket on the other end base will plug into the chassis socket this socket will plug into the tube base it really works good when I use this to check a tube that's already in a TV cabinet that I haven't taken out I've got enough room here to plug it onto the base of the tube now, yes, you can check the tubes on the CRT tester. I have the Syncor CR70. And for the most part, it's pretty accurate. But to really be sure if the tube has good emission and is bright, and I hook them up to this test chassis. Here's how I store my 7JP4 tubes. Uh, I do have some still in the cabinets, as you'll see as we test these tubes, but I can put three tubes in this little base I made. That protects them. So there's rubber around here that I put, so they just set down in that. This is the first tube, 7JP4. And it does look like we've got a good tube. Check focus. Yeah, that's controls pretty much right in the center. So that 7JP4 is definitely okay. This, and I'll mark these as I test them with the chassis. I mark this one good. So let's go to the next one. This is a green scope tube. And while I wouldn't use it in a TV I restored, it's good for testing purposes. So. Well, we're kind of, this tube's kind of weak. Now, let me turn the overhead light off. It'd be okay, probably with it off. Run the brightness up. Kind of washes out. For testing purposes, it get it will get the job done. All right, let's go to number three. Well, I think I've tested this one before. It says very weak. Now I'm not sure if that was on the, the CRT tester or actually hooked up to a chassis. So let's turn it on and see what we get. Well, again with the overhead lights off. Not a bad picture there, as long as you don't have bright lights turned on. But with the lights on, pretty weak. Now it is really bright in here, you know, brighter than a normal room that you was trying to watch this in, but it's still, as that says on the front, very weak. So we're going to go with that. Number four. It's really watchable, even with the overhead lights on. So, that's a good tube. We have three more tubes in Motorola sets to test. And they're still in the cabinets, so... Have that one. And we have a blonde. And another mahogany. And then we have a couple of Halicrafters. Those sets are hard to test the tubes on. The way the sockets fasten onto the to the base of the tube. I'll show you that when we get get to those. Now this first one says CRT OK. That just means that I've checked the filaments and the tube should light up. But we'll see what kind of picture it produces. This is where the extension that I made really comes in handy. We can scoot the chassis up next to the tube and the 
it'll reach with no problem and we can just leave it in the set it's a good place to keep it Let's see what we get I know the filaments are good because our tubes are lighting up on the chassis a little tilted and then the mask is dropped down there on the left side but it looks like we've got a pretty bright tube here focus is adjusting good and a good contrast and this chassis has a little pit in that, vi that brightness control that's why it jumps up all of a sudden right, so number five I'd call that excellent number six the blonde Motorola and tubes really you can see it's spun around there uh, with the overhead lights on you can see it but it's kind of washed out shimmery looking not much contrast so let me turn the lights out yeah much better not as strong as a couple of the others we tested but it's presentable number seven and the base on this one is really loose so I gotta be careful yeah this is the weakest one so far uh, have the overhead lights turned off and it's still really weak probably the only way I could possibly use this tube is try rejuvenation on it and normally that doesn't work I had one that I actually rejuvenated that held after a week or two when I checked it again normally they don't before I put the back on this set and set it aside let's get the CR70 out let's just see if it tests weak on the CRT tester all right no G1 shorts no heater cathode shorts and the cutoff it's adjusting really well which is kind of surprising with, with very little contrast on this tube but we'll go to emission and indeed it does check weak So in this case the CR70 was correct. Now let's do the life test and see how quickly it falls off. What that's doing, that's reducing the filament voltage on the tube. And on this tube it really makes a goes down quick. And after about five minutes the emission's right in a questionable category. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of what we're seeing on the tube when we hook the chassis up to it. Alright, enough of that. We've got two more to test. So, number seven. Pretty weak. Alright, we have two more Halicrafters 7JP4s to test. And here's a problem with these. This base is fastened down to the chassis. And I've taken the screws out, but it will not slide back enough to get out of the way where I can plug in my test chassis. When I bought this set, I opened it up. This is how I found the tubes. They wrapped each one in bubble wrap. So I just left them. And then down on the chassis, they have each tube marked with a number and then a corresponding number on the bubble wrap so this is this sets in really good shape the cabinet looks good but I've already done a video on that if you want to check it out where I just did an analysis of the set looked at it take took the knobs off and took the front off then I was able to just to pull the tube forward a bit of dust on the front of this one 
Well, I see an image. Looks like we've got a decent tube here, too. Check the focus. Not bad. Again, that's with overhead lights on, so that'll definitely work. The only issue this tube has, this pin is popped out of the, the base. We'll either try to put that back in or just change the base on it. Number eight. Good tube. Last tube to check is this other Halicrafters. This set's in pretty rough condition. Some rust on it. Of course, that can be repainted. Anyway, back to the tube. Really dusty, too. I'm going to have to clean up after I get this tube out. And unfortunately, this tube is really bad. Even with the lights turned out. Might try a restore on this one, too. Really don't have anything to lose when it's this weak. So, number nine is bad. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.